Well, uh, you know, any drug use, no matter where it's at, uh, whether it's an athlete or not, I mean, uh, you know, you, you don't want to you don't want to see that uh, anywhere in, in in society, unless it's obviously for medicinal purposes. But uh, and to be honest with you, and I'm not avoiding the question. I, I somebody said that to me about the article. I guess it was, what was it? ESPN yeah. broke the story or something like that. And then I I heard this morning on the radio they talked about all of you know athletics but uh, you know you can only uh, do your job uh, you know counseling uh, young people uh, in, in that nature uh, if somebody uh, we have a policy here if somebody is an, an offender uh, and I, I'm not sure exactly I don't want to miss uh, quote the athletic department's policy but uh, uh, you know we'll uh, we'll, we'll implement a, a you know drug testing if that's the case and then uh, you know everybody uh, uh, you know, for by and large, I mean, if people make mistakes uh, uh, and give them a warning, and then if it's persistent factor, then there's just no place for that. Uh, uh, specifically in this program, there's no place for that, and it's not tolerated on this team. The article said somewhere between 40 and 60 percent of the players and the Ducks were users, according to the player. Do you feel like it's a problem with Oregon State within within the football team here? Uh, all I could say is I, I hope it's not. You know, uh, I'm not aware of, of anything like that. I, I'm not a person. Uh, Coach Riley's not a person. Anybody that uh, uh, with their head in the sand or uh, turn a turn a cheek to to anything like that. But. Uh, um, you know, we haven't seen anything prevalent here at, at all. Uh, I'm sure it's, you know, we'd like to think, yeah, the guys are 100% across the board, clean as could be, but uh, uh, that would probably be being a little bit naive. Uh, we can only, uh, we can only uh, hope that uh, uh, people, you know, do the right thing. And the right thing is to, uh, uh, part of being an athlete is it's the only body that you have and, and treat it uh, with respect and, and uh, in order to have provide perfect, uh, peak performance, um, you know, th those type of things that aren't going to help you, uh, you know, don't do. When's the last time you sent a guy in for drug testing? Suspected? Oh, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not even aware of that, you know, those, those type of things, uh, and, and in all, all sincerity too, and again, not ducking a question, but, uh, you know, that, that's handled between uh, that particular individual, the head coach, uh, uh, the administrative staff, uh, Bob DeCarolis, and uh, people way above my pay grade, so uh, I, I don't have an answer for that.